Hi there, Coach Latanya here. And as you can see, we made it finally. I've been speaking about a move for, um, it's October, so for the past year now. And uh, it has been quite a journey to get here, but um, thank God we made it here. So I want to do a um, simple stretching routine. We're gonna keep it short and sweet. Um, we officially moved in last week and um, my back is a little tight, a little sore. I'm still recovering from all of the things in September. And so um, I just wanna do a nice uh, focused lower back workout, um, more of the posterior chain. And what that means is the hamstrings, the calves, um, the low back, mid back, um, shoulders. So I want to focus on the back part of the body um, today. Before we get started, I want to thank each and every subscriber for joining me here today. Um, if you enjoyed this workout, please go ahead and share this workout with a few of your besties. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I hope that you enjoyed this workout. And if you do, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so the next time I upload a video, you will be among the first to be notified. Without further ado, let's go. And what we want to do is gently release this low back. So what I want you to do is tuck that belly button or engage that core, and we are going to push forward and back. You want to take your time with this, forward and back, keep that core engaged. You want to keep the fingers separated so you have a nice support in your wrist, nice and strong in those shoulders. And we'll do about four more of these. Now what we're doing is we're taking a deep breath in as we come forward and exhale out as you go back. Okay, so take your time with this. Sync the move with your breath. Two more. And one more. Very good. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to work in those calves a little bit. So we're going to take that leg, extend it back, and we're pushing back through the heels. And this helps to release those tight calves as well. Now, remember, you want to stay nice and strong in those arms, keeping those fingers separated. We're pushing back through the heel from those toes. And what we're going to do now is kind of kick that heel out to the side a little bit and then inward. So this helps us to get different parts of the calf muscle. Very good. Two more. And one more. And then we're going to switch over to the other side. Same thing. We're going to push straight back. Pushing straight back. Getting into the calf muscle on that leg for two more. And one more. Very good. And then we're going to um, switch more and uh, bring that heel inward. And then take that heel outward as well. Okay? So we're going to take it inward as well as outward. Let's do that for two more. Take the heel inward and out. And one more time. And take the heel in and out. Okay? Now we're going to go ahead and have a seat. And the goal for this one now is to really focus on or take note of where your low back is at the moment. Now, if you're really tight in your hamstrings, what's, what can happen is that your knees are kind of popped up a little bit. You're not able to extend those legs out. So this is where we really want, just want to give ourselves a little grace um, and pull those toes back a little bit. Just by doing that, it's a passive stretch, okay? So we're starting to lengthen those calves a little bit more, but from a seated posture, what I want you to do is take those shoulders back and down away from the ears, check in with your neck, check in with your traps, those shoulders, and relax the body, okay? Relax the body with breathing and relax the body with stretching. Now, what we're gonna do is take those hands and slip them right underneath the knees and you're gonna lean forward. Now. If you're really tight, this can be difficult, okay? So what we wanna do is be gentle and keep it more fluid by going forward and back, getting a little bit more into that back each time, a little bit more length each time, forward and back, 
forward and back, two more, forward and back, and one more, forward and back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the chin down toward the chest, keeping those shoulders down, those up, and then we're going to lean into that stretch. Take the shoulders back and away, and then lean into that stretch. Again, we're working toward the low back now. Shoulders back. Chin down, lean into that stretch. And you may feel this in the back of the legs, you may feel it in the glutes as well. Take those shoulders back and away from the ears. Take that chin down and lean into that stretch. Now, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit, breathing into the stretch, giving permission for your body, giving permission for your muscles to relax a little bit more. For two more. And one more. Very good. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to rest to the low back or rest onto the back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, we want to make sure that our core, our back is uh, flat against the mat, keeping that core engaged. And what we're going to do is we're going to cross at the knee and then you're going to bring the knee in toward the chest. Now, if your glutes are tight, you will feel this stretch. It's such a great stretch. You're taking that knee in, and my other arm is here, just supporting that posture, okay? Breathing in, relaxing your shoulders, and then we're going to go ahead and switch sides. So we're going to come here. I have my hand here and my, my um, other hand on my knee. Again, getting into that glute. Stretching that glute will also help to relieve that low back as well. All right, let's do this one more time on each side. I'm going to bring it up and switch, getting into that leg, into those glutes, into those hamstrings. And then one more time. Here we go. Very, very nice. Now, we're going to finish up with this stretch. Nice, short, and sweet stretch, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the legs over to the side and you're gonna bring that knee up, extending those arms out. Now, the side that my knee is, is toward the mat, I'm taking that same arm and I'm just gonna gently bring that knee closer to the floor. If it's not possible, it's okay. You can just kind of support here. Wherever you're able to be today, that's what you wanna be able to give today, okay? All right, and then I want to switch over to the other side. Again, wherever, whatever you can give today, that's where you want to be, here. And just enjoying that length in the hip and the low back, extending that arm out. Very good, and we're going to do that one more time. Let me know in the comments what your favorite stretch is. This is my favorite stretch. It's so great for the back. Breathing in, allowing that muscle to elongate, to lengthen. And then once more on the other side, extending that arm out, stretching that low back. And then let's finish up with a nice neutral spine here, bringing those knees in toward the chest. Remember to keep your shoulders relaxed and just focus on your breath here for three, and two, and time. Okay, so that is the stretch for today. Nice, short, and sweet. You can do this, um, you know, anyone could do this exercise. If you are really tight, I recommend doing it several times a week so that you are able to elongate those muscles. And remember, flexibility is a practice. It takes time. Thank each and every one for joining me, meeting me on the mat today, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Until next time, live beautiful.